The sub versus dub debate is one that has been going on for as long as we've had anime in the world, or at least as long as there's been internet to debate on. While I understand the various arguments each side makes, I find that it's really just a matter of personal preference. Personally, I normally prefer the English dub of the show because I find I can get more into the show when the dialogue is in my language without the need to just read what's going on, even when the quality of the dub might not technically be as good as the sub. I find that this lets me focus more on the show itself instead of having my attention split between seeing what's going on on screen and reading the subtitles. Plus, there are times when the slight delay between reading what is said and actually hearing it can't hurt the show, especially for comedy when the strength of the joke so often relies on the comedic timing. But of course, people are different and may generally prefer the sub for whatever reason. But today, I want to highlight five anime where I feel the dub really made the show as great as it is, or at least enhanced it over what I felt the Japanese version of the show provided. Feel free to tell me what shows you think I left out as well, though I can already think of like 12 that you might mention. Honorable mentions got to Shinsuke Yori because of the amazing job that John Kaiser did as Squealer. The rest of the dub was admittedly pretty average, but Squealer's voice alone was just sent so perfectly that's one I recommend for the dub. Likewise, for Golden Boy, due to Doug Smith's voice as Kentaro, because the show's comedy just would not have been nearly as good without a voice so perfect for the role. Okay, with those honorable mentions out of the way, let's get on to the list itself. Number 5. Sword Art Online, specifically Ordinal Scale. Well, I had to have at least one show on this list that would catch people by surprise when I mentioned it, because pretty much everything else is pretty well respected as a good dub. And even I will admit the SAO's dub is kind of mediocre and doesn't do much to stand out. But the reason that is on my list is because when I'm making this list I'm considering shows where I felt that the dub really improved what the Japanese version offered and after I watched the English version of Ordinal Scale I went from not liking the movie to liking it. So if a dub can do that it deserves a spot on the list. My experience with this movie illustrates many of the points that I talked about earlier. How a dub can make a show easier to follow and with the unity of what's being said and the characters actually seeing it the emotions are enhanced either for comedy or romance or any other emotions that the show wants to portray. I really want to look at this movie specifically in more detail to see if I can analyze exactly why the dub was able to be so much better when I had them both in front of me and in good quality. But for now, I just have to simply go off my experience and say I went from not liking it to liking it, at least in part because of the dub, so, well, that's impressive. Number four, My Hero Academia. Funimation has done a lot of really good dubs lately, but one that tops all of their recent works, I think, is My Hero Academia. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure if uh, I like the show so much because I like the dub, or if I like the dub because I like the show so much. But either way, the dub is awesome. The most obvious example is the power that Christopher Sabat brings to the girl of all might, which goes beyond even the strength in the sub. Because, really, the sub did do a wonderful job, but just Christopher Sabat knocked it so far out of the park that it's now flying through the stratosphere like no move. But beyond him, all the characters in the dub just have voices that fit perfectly from the young and kind of timid Deku to the hot-headed Bakugo. And even side characters such as Asui and Minoru have voices that represent their personalities well and it really felt natural like all these characters were voiced in the way that they were supposed to be uh, voiced. And I'm really glad that Funimation is uh, dubbing Boku no Hero uh, so quickly for season 2 and I really, really want to watch that soon. More on that later though. Number 3, Kill a Kill. This is the show that proved to me that I get a lot more out of absurd anime when it is in English. I loved the show when I first watched it in Japanese, but hearing it in English just made everything so much more funnier and so much more powerful. And as with all the dubs, the voice actors portrayed the characters perfectly. Ryoko had her hot-headed, stubborn voice. Mako's voice was super energetic and just what Mako needed to sound like. Gamagori's booming voice was wonderful as well. In fact, the only voice I didn't immediately love was Satsuki's, but after listening to it and thinking about her character, I think it's actually an improvement over the sub. It was really able to portray her calculated and distant personality well, along with some of the softer sides of her that she's trying to hide most of the time throughout the show. So just overall, a great cast made the show I love even better. Number two, Ghost Stories. Now here is the most unique dub on the list, and the most unique dub I've ever heard. Typically with dubbing anime, the voice actors try to keep the script as similar as they can, but in Ghost Stories case, they threw the script away, kept a couple plot points, and had as much fun as possible. They took Ghost Stories from a mediocre show about kids and goes to one of the best comedies ever made. The jokes were often hilarious, and they were able to wonderfully contrast with the story that the show was originally portraying. But most surprising is that the story the characters the dubbing cast presented actually worked. The story still made sense in a comical way, the characters had their own interesting and consistent personalities. This is a case where I really think the risk that the dubbing studio took here paid off. If anything is proves that you, if you want to create something to stand out, do something that no one else has done and you'll succeed. And now for number one, Black Lagoon. This really is my favorite dub of all time for a lot of the reasons I've talked about earlier about these different shows. The voice actors give so much power to the characters they portray, and the main cast is done wonderfully and just feels right. Especially considering that the show mainly takes place outside of Japan, so English kind of makes sense. The profanity here really comes across better in English, and when you have a show filled with so much of it, this is key. But what really stands out to me is how well they're able to do with, like the accents for the various side characters, and this enhances them so much. Chinglish, as Revy calls her, is done amazingly well, especially with the banter between between her and Revy, 
That makes me love it any time she shows up. And then there's the drug-loving Scottish getaway driver who was called by Jimi Hendrix to get to Liverpool. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. But do watch Black Lagoon and do watch it dubbed. So that's my list. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I missed out on a lot of great dub, and I know I probably could have made this a top 10 list pretty easily, but as I started making the list and writing about each of these shows, I realized I just didn't have much to say about them other than it's a good dub, there's emotion, they fit the voices and all that. So I really did not want to stretch this out to a top 10 when I really didn't have anything else to add. So yeah, in conclusion, I like dubs, and I will see you all next time.